Most publishers that create a new Google Ad Manager account will sometimes find that the linked accounts feature in GAM is either not available at all or is missing some key features. In some cases, linked accounts is present, but there is no ability to link AdSense inside. This section is not enabled by default during the creation of a GAM account and can only be enabled by Google. The linked accounts feature may be activated by requesting Google Ad Manager publisher support. However, most standard or small business Google Ad Manager account users usually do not have access to a dedicated account manager or publisher support. Thus, requests like feature activations, such as enabling linked accounts, are not easily achieved. In cases where the linked accounts feature is available but there is no option to link AdSense to GAM, Users will be unable to use their AdSense account to create AdSense line items for dynamic allocation. If you do have an option to contact Google directly, you can chat or email them to request the activation of this feature. To check whether you have access to Google Publisher's support, you can go to this URL and the available support options for your account will be shown at the bottom of the page. You can also check out our tutorial on how to contact Google Ad Manager support in this channel. Unfortunately, again, chat or email support are unavailable to some GAM accounts. So if you do have that option, go ahead and request them to enable the feature that you require and they will facilitate this on your behalf. Without the ability to link AdSense under linked accounts, creating a line item with AdSense as the line item type is not going to be possible. That option won't show up during line item creation. So you're probably wondering what you can do so you can run AdSense through GAM and have it compete against other ad exchanges or ad networks in your GAM network. In another lesson in the AdSense certification course, we discussed how AdSense can run in two ways when trafficked via Google Ad Manager. Since in this case, there is no straightforward way to run AdSense on dynamic allocation via line items, AdSense can be trafficked through the ad unit. When signing up for a Google Ad Manager account, one of the requirements in order to proceed is an active AdSense account that will be mapped to that GAM network. Once approved, a GAM account by default already has an AdSense account mapped to it. So even though users without access to link an AdSense account using the linked accounts feature cannot set up an AdSense line item, AdSense can still be utilized how is this possible? When creating ad units, look for the AdSense section as seen here. You then enable maximize revenue of unsold inventory with AdSense for ad units where you want AdSense to run on dynamic allocation. Additionally, publishers can also test running AdSense tags using a different line item. To do this, let's use a scenario where a publisher would run AdSense tags using the price priority line item type. When using price priority in this case, AdSense will be used to fill the website's unsold inventory with the highest paying line item available. Price priority also allows publishers to specify certain aspects of the delivery, such as daily or lifetime delivery caps and more. To do this, publishers would create an ad unit or ad units in AdSense, generate the tag, and set up a price priority line item. Once the delivery settings have been configured and saved, AdSense can be run as a third-party creative. So grab the tag that was generated from the ad network, which in this case is AdSense, and upload that as a third-party creative. Once the line item begins to deliver, run reports in Google Ad Manager for your AdSense orders and line items. Take note that discrepancies between the revenue shown in Google Ad Manager and those shown in AdSense are expected as their tracking mechanisms are different from each other. The final revenue, which will be paid to the publishers, will be the ones reflecting in AdSense. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tip. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks. We'll catch you next time.